In this detailed video, we want to talk about the right way to close in a garage and make it a room addition. A lot of folks will just push it down all the way to the ground. But what we did in this one, we raised it up, raised the floor up, and then that allows us to continue the stone all the way across so that you're not going to get a disjointed look. And so even, even taking out the stone and making sure that the joints are random is going to be part of the detail so that literally no one can tell. We're going all the way from the corner to the corner and it's going to be, um, even the top is going to be, the steel is going to be removed, the stone's going to be removed. So yes, it's going to take a couple thousand dollars more to do this right. If you, you can do a wooden foundation to raise these up, but when you have stone that you're trying to carry across, it's probably the best thing to do. Go ahead and do your concrete foundation, spend a little more on the concrete foundation. Another thing you see is that the right way to do it is to have this an inch and a half lower here. This allows all the moisture to come down a wall, as you can see right here, that's how it was done originally. This is where the stone is, an inch and a half lower than the wall itself. And it's got a moisture barrier that goes underneath and across. So when Dan and Ellie will frame this wall, they're gonna put a moisture barrier and then it comes out under and then the stone is placed on that. So moisture cannot go up. It has to go up this high to get in the wall, which is impossible to do. So this is structural concrete. It can handle the weight of the stone and it never will, will let moisture in. Plus we've got a nice floor that's even with everything else. So this is not the size of the openings. They're too small. This garage door won't even close all the way because we, we have to chop it off now. But that's, that's the way you want to do a room addition when you close in a garage. A lot of people have seen room additions that look like they were garages that were closed in. And the reason is because they didn't do this and it, it, was, it, was a room, it was a garage that was turned into a room addition. But you never want to be able to let that be obvious. And you want it to look like it adds value to the home, not looks like it cheapens the home. Now he's got another garage, so that's not gonna be an issue as long as this looks like it's part of a regular home. That's it.